Welcome back to AM Buffalo. Now tomorrow is a very special event and this involves 40 young women from three local high schools. This is so cool. This event will include breakfast, presentations on healthy eating, and a panel, a STEM panel, featuring six local STEM professionals and tours of the Jacobs Institute. That is awesome. And here to give us more information on this, of course, is Heather Campbell, the Education Coordinator with Jacobs Institute. So thank you so much, Heather, for being with us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on the show. Okay, let's yeah. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna this go is exciting. Yes, yeah, this is exciting. I wanted to jump on this, yeah. but I was just going to ask about background, if you could, just yeah. for folks out there. Yeah, so the reason we're doing this event is because women are underrepresented mm -hmm. in STEM fields. Um, you know, about half of the workforce is women, but mm -hmm. only 28% of them are working in STEM fields. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to us to promote that pipeline all the way from elementary school through college, yes. education, careers, and that's why we're doing um, this event. Yeah, so STEM is the future. When you think STEM, you think future. Tell us about your association with the American Heart Association, like why the American Heart Association? Yes, so we are working closely with them. They asked us to organize this uh, STEM Goes Red portion of the event. Um, so in the morning, we're gonna have all those activities that you guys talked about. Um, and in the afternoon, the students are gonna be invited to the luncheon um, with all the other uh, people that are going to be there for awareness of heart disease, which is the number one killer of women. Mm. I, and there's this statistic that you shared with us that I think was very interesting and kind of troubling at the same time, and you kind of hit on it earlier a little bit. You were talking about women who hold jobs. Only 28% of those jobs are STEM jobs? Yes. Yeah. Why is that? I mean, obviously, it could be just um, what women have been told is what we can do in the past, but what, what research shows yeah. this troubling number. Yeah. Well, I think that one of the really important things is that a lot of the time women don't see other women in these fields, mm -hmm. which it is why we want to have it this event. This is why we're bringing those six local women into the panel to show our local girls that they can be in STEM, they can work in STEM, and all the different options that they have available to them. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen tomorrow with these young ladies? I want to be a fly on the wall in there. Yes, <laughs> yes. What's going to happen? So they're going to come in and um, we are providing them with breakfast, which is sponsored by M&T Bank. So nice. thank you so much to them um, and uh, so they'll get a healthy breakfast and then we have two Buffalo State dietetic students they're fabulous they're gonna give us a beautiful presentation about eating healthy and what to do um, and then we have our panel of our six women um, wide range you know from engineering to biology healthcare, all these different fabulous women on our panel um, and then we have more than 20 local um, STEM and educational organizations that are coming on to the Jacobs Institute premises and going to be having tables. So the students are going to be able to go around and interact with these people, learn about different you know, opportunities that they could do with yeah. these yes. groups. Um, and then of course we have tours of the Jacobs Institute too. Love that. So, so if folks want to support everything that you're doing and everything you just talked about, where do they go? So you can head to our website um, or you can go Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. We're on all of the social media. Um, check us out there. Um, you can also see on our website there's information about our other educational opportunities. Um, we have high school and college internships um, and then we also have uh, high school students that can come in. Well we appreciate you and if we appreciate you for tuning in. We've run out of time. Day. Have a great day.